Dear STESL Online students, hello, I am talking to you today about end of the quarter announcements uh, that are important for you as you approach the end of the online classes. Um, first of all, I want to explain how you receive your grades. You should be able to see your grades on the Moodle platform and, under, and know your progress thus far. At the end of the quarter, the grades are recorded into your Seattle Pacific University account. And about two weeks after the quarter is over, you um, will be able to log on to the SPU banner and see your grades there. SPU also does mail grade reports to you to the address that you registered with, and you can expect to receive that in the mail. Whenever you receive anything from Seattle Pacific University, be sure to check that your name is spelled correctly, that the grade and course are accurate, and contact us if you have any questions about that. Um, also at the end of the quarter you have the ability to submit an evaluation by uh, clicking on the link that is provided at the end of the course. It's uh, usually in the last module, in module 9 or in a post course module. And uh, we appreciate your feedback, and it is reviewed by myself and then shared with the instructors and uh, with Seattle Pacific University. Um, so we appreciate your feedback. Uh, after you've completed the, any course, you may wish to request a transcript from Seattle Pacific University. Please look at the information on our website at schooloftessel.org under the Alumni tab, and that's where you will find information about how to request a transcript from SPU. If you have completed four classes, four of our classes, and are ready to apply for your SPU TESOL certificate, the paperwork is also there at uh, that, uh, that link on our, from our website under the Alumni tab and you need to submit your certificate application with the SPU transcript to apply for the SPU certificate, which looks like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, not in the frame, but you will receive a, uh, an actual certificate that is signed uh, and notarized, and you can request more than one copy if you'd like that. So. Uh, Again, you need your transcript and field experience paperwork and with the certificate application. If you have questions about that application, please contact the office. Uh, Kim Hasegawa Darcy at hasegawa.spu is the person who uh, handles the certificate applications. Um, for your online classes, you've been required to have field experience or contact time, and that meets our field experience requirement. You Students are required to have a minimum of six hours of field experience to apply for the certificate, and online students you know, exceed that because of our contact time requirement. You do need to submit documentation, though. So again, see the forms and materials uh, on our website when you're ready to apply for that. Some of you may wish to do the graduate project that is associated with the class that you've completed at this time. Uh, the graduate project is not required unless you are a currently matriculated graduate student, uh, but it protects the credits for a future transfer into an SPU graduate program in the School of Education or in the College of Arts and Sciences. And you have up to six years to apply to SPU and complete uh, complete a graduate program that accepts these credits. I'm always available for advising about about this situation, uh, but if you have requested the graduate uh, credit, you know, at the beginning of the quarter, if you filled out that form expressing your intent to do that, you have one month from the end of the course to s upload your graduate project. And uh, please note that the graduate project completion, it doesn't change the grade in your class. If you earned a B in the class or you know B plus or an A minus, a minimum of B is required to be able to do the graduate project. Your grade is the same. Uh, and the credits appear on your transcript in the same way. Uh, however, 
it, it allows you that opportunity to transfer them into the graduate program by completing the graduate project. Um, and it is due one month after the course is over. People who finish four classes and finish the TESOL certificate with us are invited to attend our employment seminar that I, I conduct regularly throughout the year here at, at S. Tessel. If you're not able to attend, uh, you can access the information that is uh, distributed at the employment seminar through our graduates website at schooloftessel.net and you can register for that graduates website and access the employment seminar packet. You can also join our alumni listserv which is a great place to network with our alumni and share teaching tips, ask for job advice, and receive the uh, employment uh, announcements that we distribute to our alumni. Finally, if you have questions about next quarter registration uh, and, or advising at any time, please contact us. You can contact uh, stesselinfo at spu.edu or um, contact me at be Zavala, B E Z A V A L A, at spu.edu. I hope you've had a good quarter, and um, bye bye for now. Thank you.